guys welcome to another video of Byron tries so today I'm actually gonna be heading to a sandwich company that I've never tried before very very freaking new to me um, I've tried a couple sandwich spots before which is like Subway Togo's Quiznos and most recently Jersey Mike's in that order to be honest with them the only times I really eat out is on the weekends because my wife doesn't cook on the weekend but other than that we usually just eat at home my wife knows how to cook she makes some fire ass food i've posted some of her food on my videos and on on social media she sells uh food as well so like i'm well fed that's why i'm hella fat but i mean we're eating good here so i hardly because i know some people are probably like damn this boy don't be going out I hardly go, we hardly try, you know, during the week, we hardly go out to eat like that. We just do it for the weekend. Um, but yeah, I've never, ever tried this company before. Um, and I was looking online, man. Some of this stuff looks freaking fire. I ain't going to lie to you. So these are some of the sandwiches they have. I ain't going to lie. This one looks fire. The French dip. And we got the smoked brisket. What else? They got the caprice. They got the chicken chalula. I'm assuming that has a chalula hot sauce on it. Yep. The crispy crunchy chicken. This one's calling my name. Then they got the traditional sandwiches, which is like the ham, the roast beef, the turkey. You got the uh, ham and turkey. You know, the basics. Turkey salami. Shit like that. Um, and they do got... Let me see... They got like soups and shit as well, bread bowls. So, you know, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty fire. I'm going to go ahead and uh, head over to this location, give it a shot. I'll probably order me like three sandwiches just so I can try three different sandwiches, see the pricing on it, um, and see if it's any better than like Subway, Togo's, you know, these other Quiznos and all these other ones that I've tried. Um, I know there is more like Fire Fire Hot uh, Fire Hut Sub or some shit like that. Um, I may be pronouncing it wrong, but yeah, this one I've, I've literally never ever tried Sourdough and Co. So let's go see what they're all about. So we went ahead and got the sourdough and co sandwiches. I got three sandwiches. They got macaroni and cheese, and supposedly um, it says on there that it's hella good because they use like three cheeses and all this. But I don't, I don't know all about all that, man. Like a sandwich company making macaroni and cheese, you gotta leave that to like the chicken places and shit like that. You know what I mean? So I didn't want to risk it because I was gonna be mad if I'm gonna pay like you know eight ten dollars for some mac and cheese when i could have just made it at home myself or my wife could have made her fire ass mac and cheese um or i could just go over to the um soul food place and give me their fire mac and cheese but anyways let's get into these sandwiches let me see let me see what i paid now my wife did say that some of this shit was pretty pricey for being six inches. I only got six inches, y'all, because I'm about to fuck up some tacos after this. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. So, I got me a French dip. And I got me the chicken onion. I think it's the one that has, like, the crispy chips and the crispy onions. And I got a basic ham and turkey. So I think I'm going to start off with the basic ham and turkey first and go from there. Uh, ham and turkey was $10.49. Um, and that's this one right here. Y'all can see. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. See what it's all about. Like I said, I think most of their bread is just sourdough. It says it in the fucking name. I do like sourdough. It's not my, my favorite type of bread. I actually like that Parmesan oregano type of bread. You know what I'm saying? For the regular white bread. I don't know about the sourdough. I mean, I've eaten sourdough bread before. It's all right, like I said. 
But, um, damn, I ripped this shit wrong. They taped this motherfucker. So let me show y'all the sandwich. This is what it looks like. This is a six inch right there. Y'all see it? Six inch. They cut that mug right in half. You see? Well, kind of. The bottom part wasn't cut right. So let me split it. Oh, yeah. They didn't. They forgot to cut through. I don't know if their knife sucks or the person sucks. But I have to rip it now. So now I made a mess. So this is just basically your regular sandwich. You got the American cheese. You got some jamon. You got some turkey. You got some uh, avoc avocado. Yeah, right, for extra. Uh, you got some tomatoes, some onion, some lettuce. What else do we got in here? Oh, and by the way, you can either choose to get mayonnaise on their sandwiches or the house spread is what they call it, which let's see what it is because I, I, I think I got house spread on everything, but if you could see right there, there's supposed to be, that's, let me see, focus, bitch. That's supposed to be the house spread under the onion and stuff. It's kind of like orangey, orangey flavor. I mean, orangey flavor, orangey color. Hopefully it's not orange flavor, but let's go in for a bite on this uh, basic turkey ham and cheese for 10, basically $11 for $10.49. Let's see if it hit. Hmm. Going for another bite. I love the onion action. I love onions. Mm. So I'm gonna have to say, for their basic turkey ham and, and uh, turkey and ham, I'm mean, just a subway. Turkey ham and cheese. For their basic sandwich, I mean, it's all right, but it ain't better than Jersey Mike's. It ain't better than Togo's, that's for sure. Um, and I mean, just because of the bread texture, it's it's definitely better than Subway on that, and it's sourdough bread, like I said. Um. Shoot, I'm gonna have to rate this motherfucker. Man, let me get another bite. Hold on. Let me try to taste this real good one more time. The meats and everything. Mm-hmm. If y'all hear the snorting and shit, I'm gonna spit. It's still a little Frenchy. Walking around here being hard and shit. I'll be hard too, but that's my Frenchie. Well, not mine, but my wife's dog sitting. All right. Sourdough and co. Turkey and ham. So how much? I'm going to have to give that a 5 out of 10. It ain't nothing out of this world. It ain't nothing like, oh my gosh. You know? For 10 49 that's kind of expensive for a 6 inch. I ain't going to lie. Um, you better get, you're better off going to Subway. For sure, definitely. So yeah, it's a five out of ten for this one. So let's move on to the next sandwich. Is the crunchy chicken sandwich is what they call it. And that's it right there. This one's gonna run you for a six inch. This one's definitely gonna run you eleven bucks and ninety nine cents. So I mean, let's see what it tastes like. It's supposed to have some like. Fried onions or grill, uh, yeah, fried onions and crunchy chips in the chicken. The chicken's supposed to be marinated. Um, so let me open it up and show y'all what that thing looking like. Let's see, let's see. I'll open one side. So off top, the little chip things are really already falling out. This is supposed to be a crunchy sandwich. That's what they advertise it as. As you can see right there. Can you focus my camera? Thank you. Let's open up the top and see what we got inside. So the chips is actually tortilla chips. As you can see, 
kind of like the little like the mexican tortilla chips that they saw at the store and it's the house spread on there as well um and it is let's see let's see let's see let's see if you guys can see that better i don't know I'm making a mess I'm trying to look for the like the fried onions they were bragging about on here. Hmm. That's the chicken. Marinated. It's like orangey. Lord. Okay. Chicken got good flavor. There's like pieces of onion in here. Mixed in with the chips. The point is it's supposed to be a chicken crunchy sandwich from sourdough and co so you see it right there you see all this stuff down there so let's go in for a bite and see if this really gonna be crunchy or if they just capping here we go did y'all hear a crunch let me go again. All right, I have to try a third time to see if it's, I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all heard that crunch. I think these things are kind of soggy because of the spread thing. Like I said, you could put, they, they give you the choice of getting mayonnaise or spread. What the fuck, my dog's over here choking. All right. So let me give it another shot. Tell me if y'all hear a crunch. Mm-mm. I'm a fucking like soggy. I think the chips are supposed to make it crunchy with the onion. It's already soggy because of the sauce. And I swear to God, like we got the sandwiches. And we drove straight home, like I think like 10 minutes or no more than 10 minutes. So I don't know. I didn't hear no crunch. The only thing I hear crunching is on this bread right here, on the sourdough bread, you see? That's the only thing that's crunchy. Mm-hmm. Because these things, those thingies right there, you heard that? What the fuck is that? Let's move on to the last one. All right, before I move on to the last one, let me crack this, uh, Mineral water, because that's a lot of bread. Mm. This shit hits. Yes, this hits right here. Oh, the camera doesn't want it. There we go. From from La Casco. Casco. All right, the last one is the French dip sandwich. I've tried French dip before. Some fire ass French dip. Forgot where the fuck I tried it at. Quiznos. Quiznos French dip, and it was fire. So now this one is it's a six inch as well. This one's gonna run you the same price as this crunchy chicken one, eleven dollars and ninety nine cents. <throat> now let's see if it's worth it. You actually get the little dipping sauce thingy. I'm not big on, um, on like red meats and shit, like I said before, but let's give it a try. Now, what the fuck is this? Bro, I know I didn't drop no fucking sauce in the bag. This shit is not even all the way full. Look at the fuck is that? Who? Why the fuck do you give me a big ass cup, but the fucking shit's like right here? When I've ordered this at Quiznos, that mug was all the way up here. Look at this. Oh, and I spilled some already. Like, what the fuck? Really, look at this shit. What, you can see the bottom of the cup when I do this. Like, what the fuck? They literally do not fill your cup up with the dipping. The dipping sauce for the, uh, for the French dip. Or the French dip sauce, we'll call it that. What the fuck? All right, so let's open this up and see. Because that, man, I don't know what the fuck, man. Did they literally, like, they're going to run out or what the fuck? Like, motherfucker, I'm paying $11.99. I 
The least you can do is pour some of that liquid, a little bit more of that liquid in there. I'll drink that motherfucker. As a matter of fact, let me taste test it. Let's see. Okay. Good flavor, good flavor, yes. All right. Damn, they really be taping these sandwiches. I mean, I guess that's a good thing. Because some other places, they just roll it up and they don't even fucking, it's not even tight enough. You got the lettuce leaking out and everything in the bag. But, let's get into this French dip. Let me show y'all. I mean, this is a six inch, like I said. This is half of it, obviously. So, as well, it has the house spread that they talking about. And you got the melted cheese on there. That's the spread. Look, now you can clearly see it on this one. That's their house spread on there. Not mayonnaise. And we got the meats. All oh, that to say Arby's, but it's not Arby's because they ain't got the meats. Look at this shit. $11. This is what $11 will get you of meat. Like a little flap. Literally, like, tacaños a la verga. <laughs> like, boy, what the fuck? Where's the rest of the meat? Mm, Flappy Joe and shit. Look at this. All right, let's dip it, because y'all know you got to dip this mug in here. Here we go. Get it nice and wet. Now she dripping, and we're going to go in for a bite. Hmm. Dip it one more time, double dipping, that's okay. As long as you ain't sharing it. Mm. Man. I don't even think I gave a rating for the crunchy chicken one. I think that one's gonna be like a, like a six and a half. Out of 10, to be honest. And this one, this one right here, the French dip. Better dip your ass home. Hmm. It ain't all that. Like, if you're starving, you get you a little six inch. That ain't gonna fill you up. This skinny bone shit right here is not gonna fill you up. If you want the meats, take your ass to Arby's. Or Carl's Jr. or some other fucking place that actually hooks it up with meat because mm, that ain't gonna fill no one up. That one for sure. Like the broth, I ain't gonna lie. The broth is good, but they skimped the shit out of you. Like literally, I was like, damn. Like what the fuck? I expected more. But I'm going to have to give this, that shit's like a 4.5 out of 10. It's not even that great. Yeah, I think I'm being generous. That, that's going to get a 3. That's going to get a 3 out of 10. It's like, it's more expensive than the, than the regular, you know, their basic sandwich, turkey and ham. But yet you get less meat, fucking little bit of fucking broth. That's what it is. I'm over here saying sauce. It's called broth. I just, I'm kind of slow. So, yeah, they're skimping you on the broth. The broth is good. I mean, if I could rate it separately, the broth will get a six. A six out of ten. By itself, just the broth. But out of all the sandwiches, I think I'd stick with the fucking, the basic one, that 1049 one. That one's delicious, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it's not all that. You're better off going to a different sandwich place because they are kind of pricey, like my wife said. For six inches, they're kind of pricey. I mean, but right now, what the fuck isn't expensive, right? But it's not all that. Would I be going back? I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm. Oh, Lord, excuse me. I don't think I'll be going back to this place. Um, not a lot of variety on the bread. I mean, I, I understand the name says it itself, Sourdough and Co. But I, I don't think I'd be going back. Mm. 
I mean, it's not all that. I think I'd rather just stick with Subway, Quiznos, Togos. Togos for sure hooks it up with the meat. I know that. Um, Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's is good. So I, I think I, I think I gotta try Fire. I think it's called Fire Hut Subs or Fire. Oh no, Firehouse. Firehouse Subs. It was created by like a firefighter or some shit like that. Firehouse Subs, because the commercials be looking like they're hmm. I've never seen a, a sourdough and coal commercial to be honest with y'all. Um, let me know if y'all tried sourdough and coal. Um, because shit, it ain't that great. I thought it was, I mean, the location, don't get me wrong, the location is beautiful inside, it's nice, but, and the customer service, they're good, nice people too, very friendly and all that, but the sandwiches themselves, I honestly, my personal opinion, I honestly don't think they're worth it, paying that amount for such a small, you know, six inch or whatever, so, uh, yeah, um, I think that's it. I tried it, but I didn't. I, I'm not satisfied. Please like this video. Um, go follow me on Instagram at Byron Tries. Let me know what y'all want to see me try, man. Let me know in the comments because sometimes I be like, I get, I get, you know, too busy with work and shit that I, I don't even know what the fuck I'm gonna go uh, try. But let me know what y'all want me to try. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. This is it. Not satisfied with Sourdough Co. Let me know if y'all tried this. Peace.